morning and welcome back now i'm still trying to get all my ducks in a row i don't think i've even got them in the same pond at the moment but so who cares we're gonna take it as it goes i was tagged in a facebook post with a special request on how to make decoupage soaps so i'm gonna show you how to do this today it is like in super 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 easy um oh, you can't get something easier than this just remember and keep in mind that um, when you put paper on soap, it's definitely going to wash off. So it's not going to last on the, it's just for the fun and um, to dolly it up a little bit. Children love it especially. Um, so, but let me show you how to do this. Okay, take number 363. <laughs> I'm just joking, but it is take number three. Um, it was a bit of a learning curve with all of my new recording equipment and the sound bugs out and the video. So I really do hope. This one ain't too bad, it's, it's still jumping, but it's as good as I'm going to get it for today. Okay, to do this, all you're going to need is a blank piece of soap, a lightly colored one is going to work better. If it's dark, serviettes are quite thin, so um, it will shine through if you have a darker colored soap or a soap with patterns on it. You need a scissor, you need a pencil, a little bit of water. Now this is for stage number one. This is to get it to... This level where you're just gonna and uh, now my autofocus is not working hello somebody ah oh, there we go okay this is where you just cover your soap with a serviette and nothing else I'm gonna show you how to cover it with uh, melt and pour soap so then you've got a little bit of a protective covering there for that you are going to need a container that you can add your melt and pour soap in it and it must be large enough that you can dunk your soap eventually into this as well so if you want to do the extra step then you're going to need some melt and pour soap a quite um, see-through one and I will show you how to do that okay for this one what you're going to do is you need a serviette of your choice. I've got different ones here. I've got the lavender one that I've used there. So, and then I've got this lovely violet one that went there. And I'm going to show you here with this juicy strawberries. So if you have a serviette, if you're lucky, you get one that's got four designs on one serviette here. And if you spill water on anything, it's going to make a wet spot, so be careful there. So what I do is I just cut out one of the corners. Now this is a very nice project to do with kids, because you're not working with hot stuff, you're not working with active lye or nothing. So this is just a fun little project, um, but keep in mind, this soap, the moment when it gets wet, this is just a very thin piece of paper. It's just going to rinse right off. So it's definitely not going to last, not even one wash. If you wet it, it's gone. So, but it's a fun project. We like to do th fun stuff. Now, if you've got your serviette, what you're going to do is you need to split it. You sometimes get three ply serviettes and you get two ply serviettes. So you will have to try and figure out which one it is. I think this one is a three ply. There we go. So you need to take the two pieces of the back. If you have two ply and you stick it on your soap, the top part is just going to wrinkle and lift up. So here you must decide which side. So for me, I think I like it over there. So this is now sort of plus minus where I want it. I'm just going to turn it over. I want a little bit more of that, that one over there as well. So then you're going to trace it off with a pencil. Now keep in mind, I've got a wobbly side here and a smooth side on that side. So just keep in mind when you flip it over, this is the side that you need. If you turn it around, then you're going to struggle to fit it again. And then you're just going to cut it out. Now, I prefer to do this while my hands are still quite dry. The moment when you touch water and you touch a serviette, then everything goes wobbly and wrinkly and 
You know what I mean. Go. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be my wobbly side there. Turn it the right way around and it will fit quite nicely in there. Bring it a bit closer, there we go. Put your soap and you just make sure it's going to fit nicely there. Okay, now I'm just going to put it down. I'm going to Wet my finger in a little bit of water and just rub it on top of the soap. And the soap is going to absorb this water so it will actually suck it up quite fast. Then I'm just going to redo this. I'm going to rub it again here. And I can see it's got a little bit of a shininess, wetness to it. Just leave it there for a moment still. And let's see if I can zoom this thing in a bit. Okay, now you might be able to see a little bit better. It's just like if this, it looks very grainy to me. Okay. So it sucked up all my water again, so I'm just going to do it the third time. And now I can start to feel it's like there's a creaminess of the water in the soap. Some of the soap is dissolving. I'm making a little layer on top of the soap here. And now you need to dry your okay, the extra one here. While it is damp, not not wet, just damp. You're gonna place your serviette there and you need to place it quite in the right position the first time and then you're just gonna press down on it with your hand and it will stick to the soap. I've got little pieces that's hanging over here so what you can do is you can turn it over and you can just trim it off if it's a little bit larger or you can just also wet the soap and stick it down on the sides if you like okay there we go and that is absolutely all there is to it the moment when it's dry you have your piece of soap that is decoupaged that's a very fancy word decoupage so that's step number one now step number two if you like to continue, you don't need to do this, but it will at least last two or three washes. Now I've made one here, and this is the way you're not gonna do it. Come on, camera. I feel like a newcomer in YouTube. There we go. As you can see here, this one's got a little bit air bubbles and stuff all over the place. I need to block out the background but it's still blurry. Okay, that's the best I'm going to be able to do. But there are some air bubbles in here. So there's a certain way to do this and a certain way not to do it. This is the way you're not going to do it. So what you're going to need here is a thick of pour soap, some melt and pour soap. a little bit more in here now the thing with melt and pour this is not my strong point in life because it's actually sticky more finicky so if you ever thought about people doing only melt and pour soap as they're cheating in soap making trust me this is a freaking old artwork or an art in itself it's not as easy as it look because if it's too cold then it makes a uh, skin on top. If it's too hot, it bubbles all over the place and just make a big mess of it. So you need to get your temperature quite right. You need to work fast. You know, you need to know when to work with it. So yeah, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna microwave it for a few seconds. I'll be with you just now. Okay, now 
I've microwaved this for short intervals about I started with 30 seconds 30 seconds again and then after that 10 seconds at a time and it's already again me and the hookies I've got this tube light over my table and I think it's stuff that falls out of there the moment I touch my recording equipment now this is where the trick comes into let me just get something darker underneath here there we go. Now, this is the thing with melt and pour soap. If you heat it up too much, you get all these air bubbles on top. And if you don't heat it enough, then we've got solid pieces there at the bottom still. So if I dunk my soap now, it's just going to end up in a big mess. So I'm just going to stir this around a bit and see if I need to heat it a bit more. This stuff smells funny. soapy but yeah it's definitely not cold process so i've got lots of air little air bubbles in here so i most probably overheated this stuff let's see if i spray a little bit of alcohol on top okay so it's not really on top of it but anyhow so i'm just gonna dunk it you will have to play around do not overheat your soap like I did and when you dunk it okay I'm gonna explain it you will have to start and dunk it in this one side and then you're gonna flick it down and lift it up and then you need to put it flat if you hold it up like this some of the soap is gonna run down and cover the bottom part and it's gonna make lines and stuff so here we go what I do is I just make sure you see there's already a skin forming on top so just make sure, sure you scrape the skin out of the way. Seems like I've got there. And then commit, dunk, press it in, lift it out. And then you need to put it flat down. Then it will make a nice shiny layer on top of your serviette there. Okay, so now you've got a sealed decoupage soap. Oh, my tongue nearly twisted on that one. Sealed decoupage soap, something like that. Okay, you can tidy up the little bit of extra soap on the side if you like. Oh, this one actually came out quite nicely. So there we go. So this one's got a little layer of soap on top. Um, so the picture will last as long as the, the melt and pour soap on top is still there. The moment when that is finished, the whole thing will just wash away. So I hope you enjoy this one. Happy soaping until I see you guys next time again. Mm -hmm.